I'm wearing this Liberty Head uh, coin uh, that used to belong to my great grandmother. Um, and she never got to vote for a, a woman for president, but today she got to come and vote with me. This is a huge moment, and it, it shouldn't have taken quite so long to, to reach my generation, but the fact is it's happening in my generation, and I'm going to take advantage of that. And it was important to me to come here and thank Susan B. Anthony and her sister Mary to allow me not only to vote, but today to vote for a, a woman for president. I was really moved this morning to cast my ballot. And um, so I'm here with all these people, and it's just a really awesome morning. Thank you. Uh, there's no place else we all should be today. We're casting a really important vote, and um, my guess is that the people that are here are casting a very specific important vote, um, and we're celebrating Susan B. Anthony's sort of historic contribution to our capacity to be able to do that. Um, so in 1904, my grandmother, Evelyn Horn, was born two doors down from Susan B. Anthony on Madison Street. Amazing for me to be here today with the same name as my grandmother, who wasn't even aware that women could vote until she was 18 years old and I think that that is that that's just incredible it's uh, this is something that is unique and can only be done in Rochester to pay their respects to uh, some of that fought for the rights of women to be able to vote um, you know and, and not just for women um, th this is representing equality for all people I'm here today with my son, and it's going to be an important memory for us to look back on. We are about to elect the first woman president for the United States of America. Does it get any better than that? Can you imagine how many years ago, and here we are finally, finally standing here. We have been waiting in line for almost an hour, um, but it's completely worth the wait. No place else I'd rather be right now. You have to ask Hillary. I'm with her. <laughs> I just turned 18 about a month ago, so this is my first time voting, and I am so privileged to be able to vote for the first female major candidate. First woman elected president in the hometown of Susan B. Anthony. Yay! All nasty women! <laughs>